All right, class, so now that we've seen what a promotional mix is, we have to figure out how we go about developing a promotional mix so that we can achieve our company's goals in a cost-effective manner, okay? So what I have here is a chart that illustrates the steps that a company would have to take in order to create an effective promotional mix. All right, and the first step is actually down here in the red colored arrow, and I'm circling it right now, okay, in the yellow circle, and it is identify the target market. Okay, we need to first figure out who are the people in the larger market that are most likely to buy our product, okay? And then how do we go about developing the promotional mix from there, okay? So once we know who our target market is, we can clearly define our objectives, okay? So this is the green arrow. What do we hope to achieve by going and investing this time and this money in developing this promotional mix, okay? What do we hope to achieve? Well, one of the goals definitely is going to be to sell the product or to provide the service to the target market, okay? But we need to be more specific when we're creating an actual, actual uh, promotional mix plan, okay? So now once we know who the target market is, we know our objectives, then we're going to design the promotional message, okay? What's going to be the overall message that we're going to try to use to reach the target market so that we can achieve our objectives. Okay, so the promotional message is gonna vary differently from target market to target market. Think about this. Think about if I was trying to sell um, toys to little children, okay? Compared to if I was trying to sell life insurance to senior citizens, okay? I would have a very different message, obviously, in those different types of promotions. Okay, I'm still going to have similar objectives, right? I want to sell the life insurance to the senior citizens, and I also want to sell the toys to the children, okay? But the message that I use, the words and the ways that I go about um, communicating this to these target markets is going to be very, very different, All right? But once we have that message, then we need to figure out what actual activities are we going to use, All right? What sorts of promotions are we going to use in order to achieve those objectives that we established. Okay, so in the example I just used of the life insurance versus the toys, you know, would it make a lot of sense to run a promotional advertisement in the Wall Street Journal or, um, uh, you know, Reader's Digest, magazines that older people tend to read if I'm trying to sell toys to children? Probably not, okay? That would not be a very effective, a cost-effective promotional activity, okay? I'm not gonna be maximizing my money to achieve my objectives if that's what I'm doing. All right, then the last two steps of the promotional mix, we need to allocate budget amounts, okay? So we've talked about how this is a cost-effective way of promoting the product. So we need to figure out how much money are we going to devote to running this promotion, okay? We can't spend $10,000 if we only have, you know, $3,000 to, to do all this promotion for. So we have to figure out how much money we have, how much of that money we're going to allocate or set aside to do this promotional mix. All right, and then finally, after we've gone ahead and we've done everything, we've implemented our actual strategy, our actual promotional mix, we need to measure our results. How did we do compared to where we thought we would do, you know? Did we think that this promotional mix was going to result in 1,000 additional sales? Okay, did we sell more than that? Did we sell less than that? We need to go back and we need to look and see how we did compared to what we thought we were going to do. Otherwise, we have no measure of our success. All right, so all of these steps go into creating that promotional mix. Identify the target market, figure out what your objectives are or your goals. Okay, based upon your target market and your goals, then you're going to figure out your overall messaging. How are you going to communicate this to your, to your target market? And then what sorts of promotional activities, what sorts of things are you actually going to do that fit within the amount of money that you can spend or the amount that's budgeted? Then after we're all done, we measure our results and we see how we did. There's a final couple key points about the promotional mix, okay? Don't think that the promotional mix is just something that the marketing department does within a business. It goes beyond that, okay? It's gonna incorporate multiple departments within a company. So marketing is going to have to communicate to sales. You know, what message do we want our sales force to be communicating to our customers, okay? Product development, how are we 
making sure that the product that we're developing is in line with the target market. Finance, okay, how much money is available for us to budget for this promotional mix? So it's not just one section of a business that develops the promotional mix. There has to be communication across the different um, functions or the different responsibilities in a business. All right, efforts need to be coordinated between both the manufacturer, okay, the, the companies that are actually making the product, and then the sellers, okay, the retailers, the, the businesses that are selling the product. There needs to be coordination there. So think about it. Think about if Nike spends millions of dollars creating a new promotion for their new Air Jordans or their new sneakers, okay, and they develop all these posters, and they send those posters out to Foot Locker, okay, where the, the products are being sold. But Foot Locker doesn't know what know what to do with them. They don't know how to set up the displays, or maybe the they just they they don't think they have to set up those posters and those displays. Okay, well then all of Nike's efforts to make those promotional posters is not going to work. Okay, Foot Locker doesn't know what to do with them. Okay, so there needs to be that communication not only within a business but across the business that is making the products and then the business that is selling the products. Okay, uncoordinated promotional mixes, oftentimes they're going to be unsuccessful or they're not going to be nearly as successful as they could be if there was that level of coordination between the sellers and the manufacturers.